This special segment of the Fox 44 Dog of the Week, we introduce you to two dogs, Solo and Bean, both adorable and both available for adoption right now at the Humane Society of Central Texas. Fox 44's Emily Kay has more. Thanks, Noelle. Well, I'm here again. It's Saturday, so it's time for Fox 44's Dog of the Week, and I'm here with Paula and Mike from the Humane Society of Central Texas. They fought or brought two furry friends with them today. So who did you bring with you today, Paula? Well, today we've got two very special dogs. We've got Bean, this guy right here, who's still a baby, and he's so calm and sweet. And then here we've got Solo. Solo's a little bit older, about four years old. Okay, and Solo is a very special dog. So can, what can you tell me about Solo? He is. So Solo came to us with his brother about three weeks ago, and unfortunately his brother ended up passing away. So now Solo is alone. So he's very Solo, and he's also vision impaired. So so he needs a really safe home where people can understand the fact that he's going to maybe bump into some things and he needs a little more patience, but he's so calm and gentle and he doesn't really spook, which is great. So we think he would be great in any kind of family. Oh, and he's been doing great since you guys brought him here to the station. He's just been walking around, sniffing everybody. He's so sweet. And then we also have Bean. So what can you tell me about Bean? Yeah. He just is so sweet too. He is. So Bean is just a little baby. And just so you know, these guys just met. So they they obviously are very dog friendly with each other. Um, Bean is only about eight months old. So he's been with us though for the past week and a half and usually puppies leave pretty quickly. So we're surprised he's still with us, especially being as calm and gentle as he is. So we're looking for a wonderful family for him. I'm sure he'd love to have some kids in his life, maybe some other dogs. He's just so easygoing and, and not your usual like high energy puppy. <laughs> so yeah, he's super easy. Yeah, he's been so calm since you guys brought him. He looks like a little snuggle bug. So I'm sure if you wanted someone to cuddle with, you could get Bean. Um, what are the adoption requirements for adopting a dog that is hard of seeing? Yeah, so we'll just talk to a family. If they're interested in, in either fostering or adopting a blind dog, we'll just ask them kind of about their lifestyle. We want to make sure they don't have steps, make sure that their house is flat on the ground or that they have a ramp so that he can easily get in and out of the house. Um, and it's really, he doesn't require that much extra care. He's a good eater. He loves other dogs. So really, he just needs someone who's willing to cuddle him and be patient on walks. So he's not going to be running with you. He's not going to be going on, you know, super long walks, but he definitely will follow you. So we would love to talk to people about how to really work with a dog like this because he's so sweet and gentle and we just would love for him to go to a home on Monday. Oh, I love Bean so far. Bean has been great. He is one of my favorites as well. So what can you tell me about Bean um, as far as adoption goes? So Bean also, is he's so super easy. If you have other dogs, we'd say bring them in for a meet and greet to make sure that they're going to get along. We're pretty sure Bean is going <laughs> to get along with anybody though. Um, and you just come in, fill out a very simple interest form. And we don't do applications anymore at the Humane Society. We do adoption conversations. And okay. so we talk to people about their lifestyle, about their home, about what would work best for them, we find that that's a much better way to match people. So we actually have a person, Jenny, who is our pet matchmaking specialist, and she does a great job at making sure we match pets with the right fe people. Oh, that's amazing! And I know that earlier we were talking about for Bean, uh, maybe he could possibly use one of those little halo things that kind of goes around. Oh, for my head. Solo, yes. yes uh, or for Solo. Sorry, I got them confused. Yes. Hello, so many dogs in here. I yeah, know. For solo, the um, the head the halo thing. Absolutely. We about that. Yeah. yeah. So they do make these great holos, uh, halos for. Uh, <laughs> for blind dogs and so we would love it if someone were to donate a halo for him absolutely okay and so for both solo and bean tomorrow is going to be a fantastic day to take them on a walk paula beautiful weather tomorrow so good news for you guys solo and bean also this dog walk forecast brought to you by yours truly the solo and the <laughs> bean look how cute they are in that picture too i can't believe they just met that's crazy temperature starting off tomorrow morning in the lower 70s we'll have mostly clear skies to start out our day as we head into the afternoon we will start to see an increase in cloud cover but don't let that deter you it's going to be a very nice afternoon we'll see those mostly cloudy skies by 6 p.m going into the afternoon but again not bad weather so we'll see those highs getting into the upper 80s and lower 90s really wonderful weather to take your dog out maybe limit your time in the afternoon 90 degrees can still be a little hot for some dogs the morning though temperatures in the 70s going back into the 70s by the evening so your morning and evening absolutely clear beautiful for taking your dogs out on a nice long walk and you might want to get to it tomorrow because it's going to be a little rainy to start out the work week and we'll have more about that in just a little bit but stick around we have more news weather and sports coming up